Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about the basic interface of AutoCAD Electrical. So, when you start AutoCAD Electrical, you will get this screen as your first interface. On the left, you get the project manager. In the project manager, you will get different projects earlier saved by you or already available with the software as a sample. So here you can select any drawing to open it. You need to just double click on it to open. At the bottom you get the details about selected file, its location, its size, date of change and so on. And this area is called file tab bar. So here we can start a new file. You can call it drawing tab bar also. So click on plus, we can start a new drawing. We'll close it at the moment. And this area, here you can access various help files, support links, starting a new file, opening earlier saved projects. And you click on this different options here, you get recent files open. Here you get Autodesk projects saved on Autodesk desktop connector. Desktop connector is just like a cloud storage where you can save your Autodesk projects and share it with others. And in this learning page you get various tips, online resources available, help files, videos provided by Autodesk. So we normally place the recent option here. Here you can type the name of recent file you are searching. For example, you have opened tens of the files recently and you want to open the file called operator station. So you can type the keywords and you will get the file here. So most of the tools in the ribbon are deactive because we have not opened any file so we'll start with opening a new file so click on this new button we can also use new button on the quick access toolbar and we can also use file menu to start a new file so here we will be using this new option click on the browse templates Here we get a full list of various templates available for starting a new file. Most of the time for AutoCAD Electrical, we will be using a CAD Electrical or a CAD Electrical IEC. IEC is just the standard used for electrical drawings. Then we can also use ENSI template, that is American National Standard. You can also use DIN, GB and so on. All the templates that start with ACE are for electrical and a CAD 3D is used for 3D modeling because the software is based on AutoCAD so you can also perform AutoCAD related operations using these templates. Then at the bottom you also get manufacturing template, architectural templates to do so. We will here use AutoCAD electrical template and click on the open button. This will start a new drawing. So most of the options in this ribbon are now active and we get this catalog browser. Catalog browser is available because if you want to insert any symbol or any component you can just search it using the search bar and categories. For example, I want to insert a circuit breaker, so I select circuit breaker and I type the ampere or any rating, anything that I want, even if I do not want to enter anything and I want to check all the list of circuit breakers available in this catalog, so I'll just click on search button with the blank and we get the full list of circuit breakers. For example, I want, I'm searching for a 15 ampere circuit breaker. I type 15 and I get that. Motor
router circuit breaker double click on it click on the insert we'll understand these steps later so for the moment we'll close this catalog browser because we are just interacting about the user interface in this video at the bottom we get various snap options changing ortho and other options for example you want to draw a line and by default it's not straight you can move it in any direction so we select this ortho toggle button and now you can only create horizontal or vertical lines so these are the options available in user interface this area is called command bar so we can type command directly for example if i want to draw a wire i'll just type wire and press enter so i'll get the option to draw wires directly as you can see here so press escape to exit any tool at the top we get file menu here we can perform various file handling operations like starting a new drive, opening a file, saving a file, importing, exporting, publish. We'll get to these options later in the videos. This section is called quick access toolbar. So most of the options available in file menu are also available in this area. Apart from that we can also use the share option directly here to share our files with our peers or colleagues. In this section, we can search any command. For example, I want to search about wire number. So I'll just type wire number and press enter. So I'll get the help on wire number. We close it now. And this section is used to log in, log out, check our licenses, privacy settings and so on. This Autodesk App Store is used to add additional functions in our software. These softwares are provided by Autodesk or other vendors that are collaborating with Autodesk. You can get free options, you can pay subscription, there are various softwares, you can check that later, whenever you require. The next one is for connecting with Autodesk, so we get direct link buttons for AutoCAD blog, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, we can also check with the certified hardwares. Here we can learn what are the basic requirements for running any of the software. Just click on the software name and get the options. What are the minimum hardware testing requirements? So these are the graphic cards and operating systems that can run Fusion. Same way you can same way you can check the certified graphic hardware for AutoCAD Electrica. Next one is the help menu. So you can download content packs. Uh, you can use different languages for creating drawings and entering text in the software. For example, if you want to create the drawing in Chinese, you can download the language pack using that option. All the things will be available on the Autodesk server. So from there you can download and install the language packs. Now in the same way, we can get the content packages. So content packages will be having various symbols available for the software. These are the vendors that provide symbols for AutoCAD. So for example, you want to download symbol pack of Siemens PLC or you want to use the language pack from Shender Electric. So click on the link, we get the options to download. These are the readme's 
click on the manage click on the product update so these are the ways to download the packages go to that sign in here we will go on the custom install option note that autodesk is always changing the ways of installing software downloading packages so currently this is the option that's working now so you click on the custom install you click on the create package I will select AutoCAD Electrical. We are going to install the packages for AutoCAD Electrical, so that's why we are selecting this one. And now we click on the content. So here we get various packages provided by Siemens and Shender. So we select these checkboxes. Then you click on the next button and get a package where we can directly install. So this is the way, now we close this option. Next in the menu is about AutoCAD Electrical version. Here you can check the version of AutoCAD Electrical. You can also check licensing information. If you are in the developing, you can check API help. So these are the interface elements available in the top bar. Below that is the ribbon. So ribbon has tabs like when we be training on the software we will tell you like click on the line tool from draw panel so this is the panel in the home tab this is the home tab and this one all is the ribbon so we say that click on the line tool from draw panel in home tab of ribbon here we get uh, the view cube you can check the drawing in 3d although it is not much useful in electrical schematic drawings but when you will be working on the 3d model so you will be able to use this one so you click on various corners of the cube and the orientation changes you can also change views and styles from here so you click on this one and we get the options to change orientation Similarly, we can change the draw style. So we can create 2D, we can create realistic, shaded, different options are available. Different of the options are available to check the views. And this one here is used to hide or display various elements of interface like view cubes, steering wheel. These are basically the AutoCAD interface elements. So we close this one now. Mm, the center area here, this is called drawing area. So all the symbols, schematics, wires, symbols, everything will be placed here. So this concludes our video on the basic interface elements of AutoCAD Electrical. In the next video, We'll learn about the file menu options like creating new drawings, opening new drawings, what is sheet set, what is save as save, which formats can we import, what format can we export, publishing, printing and so on. This will be discussed in our next video. So thank you for watching.